Imagine a tender roast beef marinated in a mix of vinegar, water, and aromatic spices, then slow cooked to perfection. Welcome to the world of Sauerbraten, a staple in German cuisine. Dive into the unique preparation method of Sauerbraten, where the magic begins with the marination. Picture this, a piece of beef, or sometimes horse meat, left to soak in a brine of vinegar, water, and a blend of spices that might include cloves, juniper berries, onions, and even a dash of sugar. This marinade not only imparts a distinct flavor but also tenderizes the meat over a period of several days, even up to a week. This process, a testament to the German appreciation for slow food, is what makes Sauerbraten distinct. After the marination, the meat is gently browned and then slow cooked in its own marinade, transforming into a tender, flavorful dish that quite literally melts in your mouth. But the story of Sauerbraten is not just about its preparation, it's also a journey through time, tracing its roots back to the Middle Ages. It was then a practical solution, a way to preserve meat without refrigeration. Today, it has evolved into a beloved dish enjoyed on Sundays, holidays, and special occasions. Sauerbraten's charm also lies in its regional variations. From the Rhineland to Bavaria, each region has its own version of Sauerbraten. Some use a sweeter marinade with raisins, others might add ginger snaps to thicken the sauce. Yet the essence of Sauerbraten remains the same, a slow-cooked marinated roast that is a labor of love. The significance of Sauerbraten in German culture cannot be understated. It's not just a dish, it's a symbol of hospitality, a centerpiece of family gatherings, and a testament to the German spirit of taking time to do things right. In the world of German cuisine, Sauerbraten stands as a testament to the art of patience and flavor infusion, making it a must-try for any food enthusiast. Next, journey into the heart of German street food, where the humble but delightful bratwurst reigns supreme. Welcome to the bustling world of bratwurst, the culinary pride of Germany. This simple sausage has captured the hearts and stomachs of locals and tourists alike, becoming a symbol of German gastronomy. Let's delve into the delightful diversity of bratwurst. The Thuringian Rostbratwurst, for instance, is a long, thin sausage seasoned with marjoram, caraway, and garlic. This robust flavor profile, combined with its unique method of grilling, has earned it a spot in the list of protected geographical indications by the European Union. That's some high praise for a humble sausage. On the other hand, the Nuremberg Rostbratwurst is tiny in size but mighty in taste. These little sausages, often served by the half dozen, are seasoned with mace, pepper, and marjoram, offering a burst of flavors in a small package. The preparation of bratwurst is a process of precision and patience. From the selection of quality meats to the meticulous grinding and seasoning, every step is a labor of love. And let's not forget the grilling, where the sausages are slowly cooked to perfection over a bed of hot coals, resulting in that irresistible smoky flavor. But bratwurst isn't just a sausage, it's a symbol of celebration. Every year, towns across Germany host bratwurst festivals where locals and visitors come together to enjoy this delightful dish. These festivals are a testament to the cultural significance of bratwurst, serving as a platform for communal bonding and culinary indulgence. And it's not just festivals. Bratwurst is a staple at family barbecues, picnics, and even Christmas markets. It's a dish that transcends occasions, bringing people together with its comforting, familiar taste. From festivals to family barbecues, Bratwurst forms an integral part of German culinary tradition, offering a taste of local life with every bite. So the next time you find yourself in a German town, do yourself a favor and grab a Bratwurst. It's not just a sausage, it's a slice of German culture. Delve into the sweetness of Germany with the delectable Black Forest Ghetto, a dessert that paints a beautiful picture of Germany's Black Forest region. Imagine a dessert that captures the essence of a region's beauty and charm. That's what the Black Forest Ghetto does for Germany's Black Forest region. Named after the region's famous cherry-tipped Kirsch, this dessert is more than just a sweet treat. It's a culinary journey. Let's start with the foundation of this dessert the chocolate sponge cake. This isn't just any chocolate cake, it's a moist, tender crumble that melts in your mouth, a rich, chocolatey delight that forms the perfect base for the layers to come. Next, we have the cherry filling. This is where the Black Forest region truly shines. 
The cherries are soaked in kirsch, a clear colorless fruit brandy that originates from the Black Forest region. The cherries are then layered onto the chocolate sponge, creating a sweet and slightly tangy contrast to the rich chocolate base. But the magic doesn't stop there. A generous layer of whipped cream is then applied, creating a creamy, dreamy texture that perfectly complements the rich chocolate and tangy cherries. The cake is then crowned with more cherries and a dusting of chocolate shavings, creating a visually stunning dessert that's as pleasing to the eye as it is to the palate. So, how did this dessert come to be named after the Black Forest region? Well, the story goes that the Gato's layers of whipped cream resembled the snow-capped peaks of the Black Forest Mountains, while the cherries symbolized the region's famous cherry-tipped kirsch. A dessert that not only tastes divine but also tells a story of its region of origin. With its rich flavors and visually stunning presentation, the Black Forest Gateau encapsulates the charm and allure of German desserts. Through every bite, you experience a piece of Germany, a sweet seduction that leaves you craving for more. This is the power of the Black Forest Gateau, a dessert that truly embodies the spirit of Germany's Black Forest region. From the savory Sauerbraten to the delightful Bratwurst and the sweet seduction of the Black Forest Gateau, Germany's culinary landscape is a feast for the senses. Our journey began with the Sauerbraten, a pot roast, usually of beef, marinated before being slow cooked. This dish, deeply ingrained in Germany's culinary history, is a testament to the country's love for hearty and savory flavors. The slow cooking process, the marination, and the careful selection of spices all come together to create this rich, flavorful dish that's more than just a meal. It's a culinary experience. Next, we found ourselves in the world of Bratwurst, this popular German sausage made from pork, beef, or veal is more than just a staple food item. Its preparation, varying across different German regions, is a reflection of the diversity and regional uniqueness within the country. Whether grilled, fried, or boiled, each bratwurst carries a distinct taste, making every bite a new discovery. And who could forget the sweet seduction of the Black Forest Gateau? This classic dessert, named after the Black Forest region in Germany, is a delightful combination of chocolate cherries and whipped cream, it's not just a dessert, but a celebration of sweet indulgence that harks back to the traditions of the region. Through these dishes, we've explored more than just the flavors of Germany. We've uncovered the stories, the traditions, and the history that lie within each recipe. It's a reminder that food is more than sustenance. It's a language, a form of expression that narrates the tale of its origin. So we encourage you to not just taste these dishes, but to savor them to understand them, and to appreciate the culinary journey they represent. Venture further into the heart of German cuisine. Explore the countless other dishes waiting to tell their story and let your taste buds guide you through this delicious journey. As we close this culinary journey through Germany, remember that every dish tells a story, and each bite is an invitation to explore a rich and diverse culinary heritage.